In this lecture, we will see overview of review process. Let's first understand what is a review. Review is a type of static testing in which a work product or process is evaluated by one or more individuals to detect defects or to provide improvements. For an example, in requirement stage, requirement is our work product, so we have to evaluate it to find defects. By doing this, we improve the work product. After definition, what we need to know is review activity varies from informal review type to formal review type. When we say informal review, it is clear that we are not following a defined process and we do not document output formally. Now let's move to formal review. Here, the team formally participates in the review process. Their roles are assigned. The review result is formally documented and along with that, in formal review, we also document which process we followed during the review. So what you need to remember is an informal review, result and process is not documented, whereas in formal review, result and process of review are documented. We learned that review can be a formal and informal type. Now the question is how to select the review process. There are five factors based on which we decide how formal our review will be. First factor is software development lifecycle model. Let's see two development models, incremental model and iterative model. In iterative model, sometimes we go for the informal review process because the software undergoes a lot of changes in each iteration, performing formal review process will be costly. Second point is the maturity of the development process. Let's take incremental model for explanation. If it's the first time when we are following this process, then it makes more sense to go for the formal review process. Because if we find more defects in the starting and document it, we will help in the future to not repeat such mistakes. Third point is the complexity of the work product to be reviewed. If the code is too complex, then it's better to go for formal review process so that we can document the result of the finding. Formal review brings review meeting into picture where the responsible people discuss the code and each team member comes to the common understanding. Now let's move to fourth point, legal or regulatory requirements. If the product needs to fulfill legal requirements, then in future you may have to show proof that you followed all the process during development. To do that, we have to go for formal review. Last point is for an audit trail. After factors influencing review, now let's see the focus of review. First point is finding defect. Yes, the prime objective of review is to find defect in the work product. Second point is gaining understanding. And third point is educating participants. Let's see how. During review process, review meeting is conducted where all the stockholders are present and the team discuss the review item. By doing this, we increase the understanding of each team member. This will also help new team members to get into the topic. That's why review help in gaining understanding and educating participants. Last point is discussing and deciding by consensus. During review meeting, people come up with their own ideas and they discuss about it. And once everyone agrees to it, they finalize the idea. In-depth explanation of the review process is available in ISO IEC 20246. These are the different learning objectives of this topic. First topic is summarize the activities of the work product review process. Under this topic, we will see the different activities of review. Second topic is recognize the different roles and responsibilities in a formal review. Here, we will establish the role of people in review process. Third topic is explain the differences between different review types, informal review, walkthrough, technical review, and inspection. Here, we will see different types of review and their difference. 
Fourth topic is very important because it is marked as K3. Here, you need to apply a review technique to a work product to find defects. We will provide you a practical example showing how to perform review on a test object. At the end, we will explain the factors that contribute to a successful review.